first one is from Mark. Uh, hi Lars, love your videos. Thank you so much, Mark. Um, I am designing some items that I want to put a logo on. Um, and I've created a logo object that I can import into all the design files. I create the logo by importing a JPEG and tracing it and then extruding it so I have a 3D logo object. All right. So ultimately, I want to print something on the 3D printer. Um, and then I want to be able to extrude this logo up uh, two to three millimeters. Um, now, the thing is, how do I save time by importing that logo into other files? Um, let's look at it. Let's look at it, Mark. <laughs> This should be a, uh, this is one of those that if you already knew this, you're going to be like, oh yeah, I already knew this. But if you didn't, you're going to be like, whoa, wait a second. So let's, uh, let's make uh, a logo. And uh, Mark had, um, had imported a JPEG and do some tracing. We're actually going to do that later in, uh, in this uh, Sunday edition anyways. So I'm just going to make a sketch line here. Let's do an offset of that. Uh, let's do that. 10 millimeters. And let's put some text in it. So I'm just gonna make make kind of like my own here, um, and then we'll go ahead and place that somewhere, something like this. So let's say that maybe we'll make it a little bit bigger. Oops. Um, let's say that this was the logo that we we had created um, in that in that sketch. So the idea is that we have this logo, we want to be able to extrude this um, to different surfaces for different models later down, later down the road. Um, so what I would do is I would do this sketch that you have used, Mark. I would save this. So I would go in here and I would save it as uh, Mark um, logo sketch. So you see that I haven't extruded anything out. I just left it as a sketch now uh two weeks goes by and uh we are now uh modeling something up let's just do a uh, a rectangle here let's make it 300 by 400 maybe i don't know uh so now we have like this surface we have model up it could be all kinds of things probably um probably linear or a flat sorry surface now i'll go back to uh, to the file that we had i would open it up in its own window here I would go in and edit that sketch and then I would just highlight it all and do a control C for copy, go to our new part, open a sketch, and then just do a control V. And uh, that will show up. Now you might have to spin that around. But now this is brought in as a, uh, as a sketch uh, that you could move wherever you want on that uh, surface, hit OK and uh, Q for press pull. And you can now do um, your two to three millimeter extrusion that you want. So literally what we have is we have created um, this sketch here. And then we're done, we just say finish sketch. Um, what we have created here is kind of a template. And that could just be a file sitting over there being its own. And, like I said, all you do is right click, go and say edit sketch. You just window it whole thing, do a control C, and then you can go in and uh, open it, the, the face you want to have it on a control V, and then it will be, uh, be pasted right there as a sketch entity. So that's one way that you can copy, um, you can copy that. What do you think, Mark? I think that was a, uh, Pretty neat trick. If you like, I said, if you already knew this, you're gonna be like, I knew this. But uh, that's the trick that I would use uh, for that. So thumbs up if you like that, Mark. Thumbs down if you don't. Leave a comment. Hope that was useful.